Whenever you go out shooting, you should definitely take a tripod for those rock solid, steady shots. Sometimes you might not be able to use a tripod depending on where you're shooting, the type of situation that you're getting into, or any laws. For instance, you can't just drop a tripod in the middle of the sidewalk in some cities. But you can use a monopod, and a monopod uh, is a very, very simple to use, easy to carry uh, device that can substitute for a tripod uh, and get you some steady shots. Um, definitely more steady than handheld, but still not as rock solid as a tripod. But it's, it's a nice, happy medium. All of our monopods have the actual base, the monopod, the stick itself. Again, monopod, one foot, okay? Uh, and this extends out, so there are two stages. There's the lower stage. Lock that back in and then the upper stage, okay. This will get you to a little under six feet off the ground, maybe about five, six, five, eight, something to that effect. But when you put your camera on, that'll bring the lens up to almost six feet high off the ground. Our monopods also have a tilt head, so we can loosen that. And once our camera is attached, we can tilt up and tilt down very easily. Uh, this head does not pan on its own. Easy way to pan is just rotate the entire shaft of the monopod. When you're ready to attach your camera to the monopod, you may need to remove the tripod mounting plate. If you've got the Canon 7D, there is no plate attached to the camera, so you're all set and ready just to screw the camera right into the monopod top. If you've got an HMC 150, the HMC 150 will probably have a tripod plate for the Liebeck tripod already attached. You'll need to remove this. Now, if you don't have a screwdriver out in the field, an easy way to do this is just grab a key or a penny or maybe a nickel, a dime, something in your pocket that can fit in that hole. Give it a little quarter turn and that'll loosen it up. When you remove the tripod plate, you should know the answer to this already, but the best place for the plate when it's not on the camera is not in your pocket. It's not even attached to the tripod. Just put it back in the camera case until you're ready to use it later. Attaching our camera to our monopod. It's best to do this when the monopod is not in its fully extended position. So we're going to close this back up. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the camera steady and then just twist and rotate the monopod screw. So we bring this in, line up, and so I'm going to rotate the screw. Now it'll eventually get firm. You might need to decide where you want the tilt adjustment. I would recommend putting it on the opposite side of the handle of the camera. So we're going to loosen that up just to bring it around. Nice and tight, shouldn't go anywhere, shouldn't be really loose, and we're ready to go. Of course, pull the lens cap off your camera when you want to shoot. Okay, so there are a lot of different techniques for using a monopod. Um, some people will just put it down on the ground and that's it. Um, but uh, you can do some research and reading and watching some videos uh, about some other techniques, a few of which I'll give you here. Um, so right now, I've actually got the monopod on a table right in front of me. So if you're working in a conference room or a classroom, don't think you have to have your footing on the ground. You can use a table, you can use a chair, and the monopod will just give you a little extra support. Okay, you can see uh, I'm not really exerting too much effort, and I can hold the camera pretty steady. Uh, when I want to pan, it's a very easy rotation. I'm not even touching the camera. I'm kind of using my arms and my hands to rotate where I want to go. Now you saw I tilted back with it a little bit. So keep an eye on the camera, and you can go wherever you want to go. Nice, smooth pans. Okay. Now if I want to tilt, I'm going to put my hand in the hand strap, loosen the tilt. And what I'm going to do is I'm kind of, you know, personally I will hold the underside of the, the tilt head and actually use my hand here as the way to control the tilt and just apply a little bit of pressure so that it doesn't flop all over the place. Now you can tighten that up a little more so it doesn't quite do that. And so if I want to tilt, I'll just kind of use my hand to control it that way. Okay, so nice easy tilt. Notice I've got my other hand in the hand strap so I can still do my record, my uh, zoom, and I can very easily move this hand up and do focus and any of the other controls that are necessary. Okay, so when I want to go and extend to the ground, 
do the lower leg first, lock that in, and our upper leg, and you can see that there it is on the ground and it's ready to go. Can flip the screen out and see what I need to do. Okay, there's my pan. Here's my tilt, very easy, okay? Now, if you wanted to pan and tilt at the same time, obviously you can do that, but notice there's a little bit of motion with the monopod as would be expected, okay? You can use that to your advantage and get some really interesting arcing type shots, okay? So what we could do is we could start kind of further out, okay? See, so I'm gonna do this, and rather than just a simple pan, I'm gonna actually arc the camera around if I don't hit the table in front of me, and it's a very different type of motion because the pivot point is changing just a little bit, okay? So we can do that. Uh, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna foot the back end of the monopod so that the leg doesn't kick out or slide across the floor. So I can literally apply some back pressure directly to the monopod and it's not gonna go anywhere. So I can do a little bit of that, something really interesting like that. Also, if you absolutely have to, you can get higher simply by holding it up higher. Okay, you can get that shot. I wouldn't go too far. You still want the camera in arm's reach. Um, if you want to tie it to the monopod, you can do that. There should be a strap just, just in case that uh, screw gives way. Um, but I wouldn't recommend taking the camera too far out of your handheld range. Um, some other techniques. If you don't need to go quite so high, maybe we'll just go to a normal operating height here. Short of just holding the camera with one hand and having your other hand free, always put your other hand on the camera, whether you're going to do some focusing, change your iris, um, adjust the screen, whatever you need to do, always have that second hand on the camera for extra stabilization. Again, if the height, dictates, uh, height of the shot dictates what I need, um, this would work, otherwise it wouldn't. But I can actually put the camera right under my arm and help use my body to help steady the shot even more. Again, this is for if you don't have a tripod or can't take a tripod with you for whatever reason and shoot with that, you can use a monopod in a lot of different configurations to help you get a steadier shot.